In this tutorial for Final Cut Pro, I'm going to go over how to import your media, whether it's from your iPhone, your camera, or your hard drive. I'm going to show you how to bring it into Final Cut and start editing. To bring your pictures and videos into Final Cut Pro, you can either insert the memory card with your media or connect your device to the Mac using a USB cable. Then in Final Cut Pro, choose File, Import, Media, Click the Import Media button on the left side of the toolbar or press Command-I. The Media Import window will appear. You'll see the name of your memory card or camera on the left side. Click on it to see what pictures and videos are available for importing. Now that your media is displayed, we can preview any clip by skimming across it. We can show only videos, only pictures, or all clips. Click the List View and Film Strip View buttons at the bottom of the Media Import window to switch between Film Strip and List View. Click the Clip Appearance button in the bottom right corner of the Media Import window to change the way the clips appear. We can click on this to show and hide the clip's audio waveforms, and we can hide any previously imported clips. To sort the clips in List View, we can click on the headings at the top of the list and sort by name, duration, creation date, and so much more. Before importing the clips, we can customize some settings on the right side of the screen. We can add the clips to an existing event or create a new event and give it a name. For files that we import, we can choose Copy to Library and let Final Cut Pro manage our source files, or we can choose to leave files in place which saves space but can cause errors later on if you move or rename the clips. If you want to import media into a new library, you have to create the new library first and then import your media. Go to File, New, and select Library. You can create keyword collections based on finder tags or folder names. There's an option to automatically balance the color in Final Cut Pro. We can choose Find people to analyze how many people are in the scene, and shot types like close-up, medium, and wide. We can also create optimized or proxy media for faster editing performance. Final Cut Pro can also check and fix any audio problems if needed. We can separate the sound into different types like mono and stereo, and even remove silent parts. For the audio clips you import, Final Cut Pro can assign roles like music, dialogue, or sound effects automatically. Or you can choose which roles to give to all the clips yourself. Lastly, after you start importing, you can choose to close the import window. Now let's select which clips we want to import. If we need to import all clips, we can click Import All. Or if we just want to import a few, we can hold Command and click each one, and click Import Selected. We can import sections of a clip as well. Click and drag to select a section, then hold down the command key, and click and drag to select a new selection. Then click Import Selected. This icon shows the import progress. When the import is done, you can disconnect your memory card, camera, or hard drive. Now that your media is in Final Cut Pro, you're ready to create a new video. I put together the exact steps you need to make a new video in Final Cut Pro. Click here to check it out.